Garrett Stevens, the man arrested in Moberly for two counts of murder after a fatal crash in Randolph County last week, is still in the hospital tonight. ABC 17's Ethan Hines is live in Randolph County. Ethan, you got an update today on Garrett's condition as well as spoke to the Randolph County prosecutor about where the case goes from here. Megan, today I spoke with a spokesman at MU Healthcare to check up on the condition of Stephen Garrett, and he said that he is, quote, in good condition. Now, today I also spoke with the prosecuting attorney here in Randolph County, who said that the Missouri State Highway Patrol is working quickly to wrap up their investigation of that fatal Route M crash that happened Thursday, which left 22-year-old Maya Stillwell and her unborn child dead. There's two charges, and one's for the woman that was killed that was pregnant with the unborn child in the car. So that's where your two murder charges stem from. According to the crash report, the crash occurred last Thursday afternoon when Stephen Garrett crossed the center line and hit another car head on. 22-year-old Maya Stillwell was pronounced dead on the scene while her fiancé, 23-year-old Connor Maley, and their two-year-old child were taken to University Hospital. According to the Highway Patrol, there were signs Garrett was impaired and DWI charges are coming. The Randolph County prosecutor told me after Highway Patrol finishes the investigation, she will get a report and know what charges to file. I know that the officers are working very diligently to get that done uh, and to my office so that we can take a look at it as quickly as possible. Lunsford told me when she prosecutes DWI cases, she often will look at the defendant's history. I will use all of the priors that I can find or confirm um, to enhance them. So that's typically something that I would do. Megan, today I spent some time looking through some court documents that were online, and I did find that Garrett does have a history of DWI. He was convicted in both 2005 and 2008 of driving while impaired. Reporting from Randolph County, Ethan Hines, ABC 17 News. Ethan, thanks so much for that report tonight. Due to Garrett's previous DWI convictions, this opens him up to face felony DWI in this case.